OK, Snapsters, this time it's serious. Quite literally, a matter of life and death. Grandma is back in Victorian London, and it isn't a pleasant place to be. There's been yet another outbreak of the disease cholera that has been responsible for hundreds of deaths, particularly in the built-up towns and cities. 127 people have died here in central London in the last three days alone, exclaims Grandma. Grandma has been summoned to help a local doctor who may know what's causing the outbreaks. Can you help her find the street where the doctor lives? Work out the missing words using the numbered picture clues and drag the letters into place. Well done! You found your way to Sackville Street and the home of one Dr. John Snow. His house is less than one mile from where the latest cholera outbreak has been reported and he's already started his investigation. The best medical minds in the 1850s believe you can catch cholera from breathing in bad air. But Dr. Snow thinks differently. He believes it is the water people are drinking that is making them sick. Grandma needs to help Dr. Snow prove his theory, but it isn't going to be easy, and she will need your assistance. Can you plot the cases of cholera on a map so the doctor can try and understand what's causing the outbreak? Tap on the gravestones as they appear to record the deaths for Dr. Snow. That's really good work. Jon Snow needs this information if he's going to stop people dying. This is telling us a lot, remarks the doctor. Can you see the pattern yet? I think so. Uh, most of the deaths are, are happening near the Broad Street pump where people get their water, says Grandma excitedly. The markings that you've plotted on the map show that cholera cases have increased the closer people live to the water supply. But there's been a report of cholera in another part of town called Hampstead, and that is nowhere near the Broad Street pump. Grandma will need to investigate the mysterious case in Hampstead too. Can you help her discover why a single case of cholera occurred so far from the Broad Street pump water supply? Look around the kitchen and identify the different health risks to establish the cause of the cholera here. Tap on each of the potential health hazards in the room to eliminate them from your investigation. Smelly rotten meat. Meat goes off very quickly if it's not refrigerated and can cause all sorts of illnesses. The bad smell from things like this is what many of Dr. Snow's colleagues think causes cholera, but it isn't true. Hold your nose, it's stinking dirty laundry! In the mid-1800s, washing clothes is still quite a chore so dirty pants are stored up for wash day, which might only happen once a month. It might smell, but it won't actually harm you. <coughs> Flushing toilets inside the house are a new invention and should be a more hygienic way of getting rid of poo, so long as the waste is washed away properly. This toilet is fine. Jon Snow is convinced cholera is transmitted through contaminated water, so these pipes could be the cause, 
But if this water supply is contaminated, there would almost certainly be other cases nearby. Ah, yuck! That's a rat. Did you know in John Snow's day, children are actually employed to catch rats? These vermin do carry and pass on all sorts of diseases, but cholera isn't one of them. Beer. In the mid-19th century, lots of people have taken to drinking beer instead of water because it doesn't make them ill. The process of brewing beer kills any bacteria. The downside is they just get drunk instead. Ooh, foul mouldy bread. Mould is a microscopic fungus that can grow on decaying animal or plant matter and is quite common on old bread. It could make you feel a bit sick, but it won't kill you. That's good detective work. You've spotted all the potential health hazards, yet none seem to be the clue we're after. But hang on a moment. What's that? Tap on a handwritten note. Dear Aunt Susanna, here is some of your favourite water from Broad Street. I know how you miss the taste of home. Love, Eva. That's it. You've discovered the link. The lady who lived here moved from Broad Street not long ago. It seems like she loved the taste of the Broad Street water so much, she had a relative send her barrels of it. Back in central London, Jon Snow is trying to convince the local authorities that all these clues must mean it is the water from the Broad Street pump that is the cause of this latest cholera epidemic. Eventually, they agree to remove the handle of the pump to stop people drinking the water. But many experts and locals still refuse to believe the water is to blame. Oi! Put that handle back! cries one of the locals. Looks perfectly clean to me, says another. And after much debate, the handle is put back on. Still determined to demonstrate he's right, Jon Snow asks Grandma for more help. We need more evidence, he says. Can you look back over the records of an earlier cholera outbreak in South London? Check where each house gets its water supply and compare that to where cholera was reported. Is there any pattern there? Start by pressing on a house number and carefully trace all the pipes to discover where their families get their water supply. Great work! Your investigation shows two different water companies were supplying houses in the same street where the cholera broke out. At the addresses where water was being pumped in from the River Thames near Battersea, the disease took hold. While in the houses where water was supplied from further up the River Thames, away from the London pollution, the cases of cholera were far fewer. With this evidence, Jon Snow is now sure that cholera is passed on by drinking contaminated water. And there's even more proof when a previous doubter, the local Reverend Henry Whitehead, discovers that a nearby underground cesspit with dirty nappies in it had been leaking waste into the well supplying the Broad Street pump. This is truly disgusting, cries Grandma. No wonder so many people get sick. It's basic hygiene. Unfortunately for Dr. Snow, not everyone was quite ready to trust this scientific approach because they refused to believe in a theory when they couldn't see the cause. And it was another 20 years or so before the majority of doctors finally accepted that tiny invisible germs were responsible for this killer disease. Cholera has been wiped out in most countries around the world, although you still do get cases in poorer cities 
where people still rely on dirty water. How would you persuade Londoners in Jon Snow's day to avoid the contaminated water? Can you create a poster with your own health message to help Dr. Snow spread the word and then send your design to Grandma?